A man charged with the capital murder of his girlfriend went before a judge today. Amalia Alexander disappeared in September. Police say at the time Jarvis Hickerson said he didn't know where she was located. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez joining us now live. And Kathy, you spoke with Alexander's sister? Yeah, and she's just devastated. She was here saying that she hopes he receives the punishment that he deserves. Meanwhile, Jarvis was not in the courtroom today, but we have learned some new information from his first court appearance on Saturday morning. Prosecutors say surveillance video shows Hickerson going in and out of Alexander's apartment complex the night of the murder on September 19th. Investigators called the cell phone of the complainant, no, no answers, uh, obtained store or, uh, and then obtained surveillance video uh, at the uh, apartment complex showing the defendant's truck coming and leaving in the early mornings around the last contact of the complainant. Uh, the results uh, obtained also from what the video showed, a large object uh, in the bed of the defendant's truck. And that was from his first court appearance on Saturday where they revealed that information. Prosecutors also said when they went into Alexander's apartment on October 5th, they found clear signs of a struggle. Investigators say cell phone records led them to a shallow grave in Montgomery County on October 30th. They also found clothes nearby. Court documents say he killed her in retaliation and the couple had a history of domestic violence. Alexander's sister was at the courthouse today and said Hickerson was possessive with his sister. I know it's retaliation for a few few different things, you know, and, and also for um, her getting a restraining order out on him after she, you know, was abused. He's a mean, evil person and he deserves to be punished. A week before her disappearance, Hickerson allegedly beat her up and she requested a protective order against him. His next court appearance is January 6th. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.